Guys, it's got to one two two one here. I'm doing a review for the Injustice Guys Among Us um, Ultimate Edition. It's actually a very very good story. Um, it actually is very cinematic. Um, it, the only thing I hate about it, they made Superman to a hungry villain, and I love Superman. I just like him. I like I love him as a bad guy, but they made him more to a dictator, and I didn't get it why they did that and uh, all the other stuff like. You you only fight the play as the good guys. I'm surprised you you play as Deathstroke and Deathstroke in that in that game is good. Uh, he's he's actually trying to get away, trying to take back his uh, his job to be a assassin. And I don't know, like he he's very tough to play as. But there's some certain characters in that game that are very very cheap, like Batgirl and um, Super Batman and all the other stuff. It's pretty pretty fun. Um, like, Superman is probably the most overpowered, but easy guy, not easy guy to beat. He's very, very tough. He's an asshole when you fight him in the last boss, and he's fucking a pain in the ass to fight. Because he keeps throwing and shit hitting you, and you can't, I, I'm not good at blocking. I don't know how to block in that game. But the more combat, you can press R2 to block, R, I think R1 or R2 to block, and, um... <clears throat> it's pretty good. Like every other char every character has a uh, superpower move, and every other character, some characters are weary, very very hard to pull off. Like some of the combos are very hard to pull off. Like Batman, I'm very good at Batman, and uh, I love how Batman is actually one of those guys that um, that's the only person that's not bad at any of it. Like. The Flash ends up turning on his cat, his team, and turning against his uh, Superman's Rinjajim, and end up playing him. And he's only a short level; like you only fight him with four people. Uh, I think Batman you play the most because you think you play him three times. You play him once in the the first level, and then the set the long way into the end of the near the end of the game you play him, and you play him one more extra time when you fight the other Batman. And, uh, it was actually a pretty good story. Like, once, that's enough for the campaign. But when you fight, uh, when you play the other, um, when you fight as other characters, you end up getting their visual endings. And it's actually pretty interesting. If you fight Superman, uh, at the end, you end up sending him to the Phantom Zone. And there's just a little clip of what happens with your personal ending. I just think that they should have done what Emblem War Combat X did with every each of the different things they say before they fight. Uh, but this one has the same shit over and over and over. You get sick and tired of Simon saying, stay down, stay down, stay down. I'm like, God, say something different for once. Um, well, you in, in the in the towers or the battles, it's not more combat, but if you fight them in the battles, and once you get so much... Um, so much damage on you, you end up, uh, you end up seeing it, and their, their suits get all ripped up, uh, you get, you get all bristered and stuff, like, you see their muscles and stuff, it's actually pretty sweet, um, but, then there's only one little nitpick, I didn't like the Star Labs missions, I think the Star Labs missions were stupid, they didn't make no much sense, uh, I only played a couple Star Labs missions, I just got fed up, and I just didn't like playing it. So, the final verdict of uh, Injustice Gods Among Us will be, the story will be in 10 out of 10, um, but everything else will be like, most of it's 10 out of 10, but I didn't like the Star Wars missions, I didn't play that much. So, if you like this video, please comment, subscribe, and like this video, anything to do to help out, see ya.